Okay, class, today we're going to talk about genotypes and phenotypes as we continue our study of genetics. Uh, genotypes are, are all of an organism's genes. We, we cannot see genotypes, but they actually define what an organism looks like. Now, a phenotype is also is an, all of an organism's visible traits, and you can see it, and it actually is what an organism look, looks like, rather than defining what an organism looks like. So we can take a, a look at an example here of these, these two rabbits. Um, be, given the fact that they're different colors, one may suspect that they may have different uh, genes and therefore be, be coming from, come from different parents. But because of mutations in genes or of dis discrepancies in genes, oh, these guys are cringing over here, I'm saying it the wrong way. Because of, because of various genetic discrepancies that you could have uh, two uh, siblings come from the same parents, but they actually look different, therefore having different phenotypes. Ah, oh, look, I said something that was right. All right, so let's, uh, let's review. We've got an image here of two children. What do we know is true? What's a, what, which of the following statements is true about these children? They are A, definitely not related. B, they're related, but they must be, if they're related, they must be distant relatives. Or could they in fact be twins, given what we've studied about phenotypes and genotypes? Click on the statement that is true about these twins. Congratulations, you got it correct. These, these two kids could be twins given uh, what we know about genotypes and phenotypes. Good work. Hitting escape and then 